Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we got a new Caspa ASIC from Bitmain yet again. A freaking big upgrade, the KS5 Caspa ASIC. I'm gonna go over the specs, even though you probably already know them, but we're gonna talk about our thoughts and opinions on it, right? You're gonna see a lot of doom and gloom. Caspa ASIC mining's over, throw your miners away. It's, people are just being dramatic, right? We're gonna run the numbers, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna see why, right? So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get to this thing. So it's probably not gonna be a very long one. I feel like crap. Pretty sure I got the Rona again. So we're gonna try to power through this thing. So the first one to officially leak this thing, Coastal Crypto in their Discord yesterday, 11.34 a.m. Had it way earlier before anybody, okay? They had the specs, KS5, 21 terahash, 3,500 watts, give or take, people are listing in between 35 and 4,000. Price, 34,750, so somewhere between 30 and 35K right crazy crazy impressive on their website they have it at 4,000 watts we won't know until we officially see the official release right which will probably be sometime in the next few days right right now it's like the worst kept secret it's pretty much all out there so a couple of things right number one the price the price is the reason I'm saying people are not gonna get wrecked it's 32k right so it's essentially double what the KS max is not only in terms of overall hash rate, also in price, right? The price to terahash hash ratio is pretty much identical. The difference being though is the electric, right? Almost twice the efficiency with this guy. The thing is though, currently there's still so much profitability left for Caspa ASIC mining. Okay, even when we throw this to a calculator, this is the thing. Currently, right now, it's not that big of a deal. In a year from now, Gonna be a different story, right? Potentially sooner, maybe six, eight months, just depending on how the emission scheduler works and where the hash rate's at. But currently right now, not really a factor, right? When you're bringing in freaking $234, $960 electric for this guy, even if you were to double this, right? Even if it goes up to $20, you're still raking in that much, right? Right now, it's currently not that much of a factor. If the profitability was only like 30 bucks a day, then yes, it would be massive. That would be a game changer. Right, so that's to me the reason I'm saying it's not that big of a factor. The other big thing is the hash rate. Okay, currently the network is much more mature than it was like let's say six months ago. If this thing came out six months ago, whole different story, right? Currently it's about 160 petahash, right? So this unit is 21 terahash. Let's run some numbers. Theoretically, a thousand units drop on that first batch, right? 21 terahash, let's multiply it by a thousand, gives us 21,000 terahash, which is what? 21 petahash. When we look at it in the grand scheme of things, if we go to 160 to 181, not that big of a deal, right? A 12% increase in the hash rate is pretty much what we're expecting. As a matter of fact, we're expecting 20% every month, right? So it's not the biggest deal in the world, right? So again, to me, the biggest factor would have been if this guy came in at an aggressive price. If this guy would have came in at, let's say, 10K, then I'd be worried, right? A lot of people do the comparison with the KA3 and the Kadena Miner. They're kind of referencing it the wrong way. The freaking killer with that was not, yes, it was way more efficient, way better unit, right? So the, yes, that is a big thing. The killer though was the price. That's what people like kind of missing the comparison. The killer was the price. Again, any of us who are gold shell Kadena miners, we went through it, so we know 100% what it is. Okay, so let's let's do a recap. And September 22 is when the K3 was announced. Okay, if we go back in June 22, which is when the KD Max came out, it's making about 31 bucks a day, right? So this is the killer, right? The KD Max was 40 terahash. The KA3 is 166, so more than 4x the hash rate less wattage, right? Massive, massive deal. Not the killer though. The killer was the price. So again, this is just three months prior to the K3 being announced. The KD Max was between 20 to 25K. The KA3 when it was announced, $5,300. Four X the hash rate, less wattage, a quarter of the price. This was the killer. This is what killed it, right? So. When you do that comparison, the comparison would be, it's more correct as if this guy would have came in at like 8K, right? Then at that point, 
And even then, that's not even a fair comparison because the network is a lot more mature than it is. The real comparison would be if this guy would have dropped when the KS3L dropped. The KS3L, it dropped. It was almost exactly what? A fourth of what that guy is, right? It was five terahash versus the 21 here. And if it would have dropped way back here at like a fraction of the price, that would have been the equivalent. At that point, yes, it would have fully wrecked it. But again, currently, like we mentioned, even if a thousand of these units come on board, it's only going to be a 12% increase in the hash rate, right? So again, it's what we were expecting anyway. So whether it comes in the form of one KS5 or two of the IB links, we're expecting it already, right? So I know people are saying like, oh, it's game over. Like, yes, it's eventually going to be over for the KS0s, KS1s, and not necessarily over. They're still going to be profitable. They're just not going to produce much yield, right? Which at current fiat value, not a whole lot. Right. So, again, you have to think about what you think it may be in the bull market. OK, so that's why to me, this is not the biggest deal in the world if it releases at this price. OK, if it releases at like 8K, 10K, then uh, yeah, super wrecked, all of us. <laughs> but currently, that's not going to be the case. Right. So we'll see what the price is. We'll see what officially is before people start panic selling their KS1s and KS2s and the KS3Ms and all that jazz. Let's wait to see what it's out. Um, but again, it's, it is a beast, though. This thing is definitely 100% a beast. Um, efficiency is great, right? This is definitely more top-of-the-line chips. I don't think Ivy Link's going to catch up because, again, their unit, this is their better unit, and that's the best they are able to do, which is not bad, actually. There's something that I haven't seen mentioned on anybody else. Voscoin did mention this. They did confirm with Ivy Link that Ivy Link will have a light power mode, 8 terahash, 2300 watts bringing it not super close but it's not as dramatic of an increase as it was before because of this efficiency mode so something to note of for you guys who did get those ivy links but um just depending on the price point right especially if you guys who got the ivy link early like if you got in when i did that video when it was like ten thousand five hundred bucks or eleven thousand bucks and you guys who got in super early because that thing is already like 17 18k and even where it's priced at it's still going to be priced correctly if this guy is double right because at that point the hash to money ratio is pretty close right so a lot of people are gonna be doom and gloom about it to me like yes it is what it is we knew it was gonna happen we knew the hash rate's gonna continue to go up because again like we've mentioned before there is just it's still so profitable right there is still plenty plenty of room for the hash rate to continue so they're gonna continue to make them the price is just gonna go down right so like right now currently even like the ks max being at 16k three, four, five months from now, it's probably gonna be like $4,000 and still be profitable, right? It's gonna be making a fraction of the yields, that's why the price may go down. But who knows, because again, we are closer to that bull market. So right, depending on where the price goes, things may hover around, and then we just got that <laughs> that stupid fork, right? So don't be surprised to see things like that pop up as well. So again, just depends on where you're at. Look at your risk tolerance. I know some people immediately already sold theirs based off of this quick news they threw it on ebay and such so just look at the numbers really think about it again this is something that should have been expected already for the hash rate just to continue to go up at this rate again that's why i always do my calculations more like worst case scenario kind of things i know some people say i'm more pessimistic and this is the reason why right i'm sure a lot of you guys who are newer are starting to get to see why we're saying what we're saying right and why you have to look at it like that because it can happen and it will happen Right, so like right now we mentioned with that gold shell, the Sia coin miners. You guys are about to learn real quick if any you guys did get that SC Lite or the SC5 Pro because there are already new miners coming out now that are much better. Right, so again, that's what we're saying. There's a lot of risk in that. You gotta understand that, right? This is a DGEN play. I mentioned that before. ASIC mining is very, very big DGEN play. It is very highly speculative, highly risky. Okay, but again, right now, currently, if the price stays where it's at, it is what it is, right? And even if it drops, we'll see how much it drops. The curious part now is to see what the competition does, though, right? What is Ice River going to do about it? To me, the biggest thing is do what they've already always done. Reduce those prices to make the Ice Rivers and such more appealing, right? To deter people from buying that super expensive bitmain. Okay, we'll get our first hint potentially on this next batch, this March 15th to March 30th batch, if there are more batches, right? Most likely there will be, 
we'll see what they do. Maybe they do a significant price reduction to get people to maybe not be as enticed to buy that bigger guy and instead buy multiple of these guys, right? Because then at that point, it's gonna kind of keep the prices up and down, right? So we'll see where they go. Again, this is like a game of 40 chess between all of them. Or maybe they just stay greedy and hope for a pump. Or maybe the stupid fork was brought on by these guys. So instead of having to pay all this money to pump Caspa, because Caspa is a big coin now, they can't really pump that thing. What would be a very smart advertising gimmick for them is to come up with a stupid BS coin, like the one that just came out now, with a low liquidity, low market cap, pump that thing to the moon and make it look like it has a $600 a day profitability, right? Tinfoil hat stuff, but wouldn't surprise me, right? So just different things to consider, different things to think about. It's not the end. Look at the numbers, look at the math. Like we've said, this is a big thing with the channel, the numbers don't lie, right? Look at the numbers, look at potentially what can happen, think about it, right? So again, even a thousand units, which is quite a lot for considering this thing is 30K, who knows how many release, but again, the hash rate's gonna continue to go up. It's something that's not new, something they should have expected. If you're concerned about that, this definitely wasn't the investment for you, right? So again, guys, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys getting one? Did you guys pre-order one? <laughs> did you guys get some of those IB links? I know some of you guys did. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you guys are doing, what you guys are thinking. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I am out.